what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a super exciting video we've got a lot to do today and the weather does not want to cooperate that is right guys as you guys can see we've got nothing but rain and it's been like that for the last week or so i was finally able to get my grass cut which was nice i had a small little window that and that means all this rain has kept the camaro here in the garage but we still got a lot of things going on and something super exciting so let's get right to it guys today we're actually going to be going out and getting a new vehicle for the channel i'm super excited and it's a big leap of faith that I'm taking, but I wouldn't do it if it wasn't for all of you guys. I want to go ahead and first thank every one of you guys for subscribing and getting us to 3,600 subscribers. And for those of you that are new, my name is Jorge. I've got a lot of stuff revolving around car and car performance stuff. I have my Camaro SS, which runs the nines in the quarter mile and is pretty quick, I would say. I've got the 2011 Denali, which we're going to be doing a build on, but I'm also going to be bringing another vehicle to the channel and I'm super excited. It's vastly different from what I have, but it should bring some really awesome content. And of course, we're going to be working, building it up and making that even faster. Now guys, with the new vehicle, I am also going to be launching the website for the merchandise store. So if you go to jorgespeedshop.com, you will be able to get these JLS shield caps along with the new released t-shirts in the either white or black. Very, very awesome, really nice, very soft, almost Nike dry fit type material. So make sure you go check it out and keep an eye out to the end of this video because for every $20 spent on the website, you guys will be getting an entry to this new vehicle which we are giving away guys so stick around to show you guys what vehicle we get and what the plans are and how you can get entered into a chance to win this new vehicle so we're on the way to get the new vehicle and we're in the Denali, just want to show you guys, it is wet outside, but as soon as you floor it... Yeah, there is no spinning when it comes to the all-wheel drive. That is what I love about this thing, and I can't wait to do some more modifications to the truck because it just picks up and goes even in the wet weather. So let's get right to it, I'll catch you guys when we get to the dealership. Definitely, definitely not what you probably thought I was going to get. Alright guys, we are at Wild West Motorplex and hey, look at Sebastian, I think he found himself a little bike for himself, right? <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> But anyways guys, that is right, we are here getting a vehicle for the channel and no it's not a car, but is and it's not an ATV, it's not a side by side, it is actually in that lot, but let's go that way and show you guys what it is. 
so they've got a bunch of different types of bikes out here guys some really cool looking bikes and unfortunately it's not going to be any of these i guess larger bikes you could say um these are still i believe 500 600s or so cbr like this cbr here is a i'm not sure what the models are i'm not too familiar with the, the 600s so these are 600s i know uh, fast life for us was actually trying to get one of these um but no we're not doing that um but what we're actually looking at guys is you guessed it the honda grom <laughs> that is right guys this thing here we are going to be taking the honda grom home with us today and i actually hadn't seen a honda monkey in person but you guys see this here this is more retro style um i love the colors definitely old school retro style all the chrome and everything but not what i'm looking for this is what we're looking for and you guys can see the price tag these are thirty four hundred dollars but ultimately it's probably going to be a little bit more than that once we do all the taxes paperwork um any type of dealership fees or whatnot but this is what we're getting is going home with us just finished paying now we just gotta get all the final details ironed out and get go home literally spent maybe 30 minutes tops guys the guys here at wild west motorplex in katy texas made this super simple super easy and um yeah nothing like being able to get things done easily i can't wait to see the bike and show you guys the one we're taking home these guys here are awesome check it out they got us some t-shirts so those are exciting and hey look at this we're gonna have to get sebastian on a little mini one he's excited he wants one of these <laughs> oh man i can't wait till sebastian grows up and he gets better what do you think babe you want that one sebastian he's excited anyways guys we are done here we just got to go back load up the, the grom on the truck and head back home and hopefully it's clear when we get home so that i can show you guys around the grom all right guys the grom is in the back you guys see it there took a little bit of finagling to get the grom on properly but the guys here at wild west motoplex definitely helped me out so if you guys are looking for a motorcycle or any type of power sport type device and you're in the Katy Houston area, definitely highly recommend Wild West Motoplex because, I mean, literally quick in and out and very, very helpful with the loading and unloading of the bike. I mean, by far one of the best experience I've had buying any type of vehicle. So give them a, give them a shout out if you're looking for anything like that. But right now, we're gonna get ready to go back home the weather kind of cleared up a little bit so hopefully when we get home i'll give you guys a full walk around of the bike give you guys some specs and let you guys know just how you might be able to win this grom well we are back home and that's right guys the bike is here with us so yeah i just spent I would say a decent amount of money on this thing so make sure you hit the link in the description below to go get yourself either the cap or the shirts that are now live but for now um one thing i realized was i don't have a bike ramp but i do have uh one of those uh, ladders I, I do have a ladder which i am going to try to use to get this thing down and then give you guys a nice little walk around and explain a little bit more about how you could possibly win this grom well <laughs> the bike is finally down and let's just say that 
you can use a ladder but definitely not recommended um going to be investing in some ramps for the vehicle i don't plan on towing or trailering this thing much places but better safe than sorry luckily we got it out so now let's go right to the grom itself guys so as you guys see here it actually comes with two keys so you get a standard key you get this cool little flip up key which has a nice spring to it you guys can see it there really cool looking key locks up nice and i mean overall i gotta say i can't wait to ride this thing the roads are still pretty wet so we don't want to be riding them out i'm sure sebastian's already practicing how he's going to be riding it but yeah guys brand new 2020 honda grom and let's go ahead and put the key here what happens you got a full tank of gas zero miles right there zero miles um got the clock set up we need to set that up but man overall i'm really excited um, let's go ahead and pop this uh into neutral and it's transmission is actually pretty weird i think it's a four-speed transmission but neutral is actually in between first and second so if i pop it downward that is out of um i guess that that's in first gear and you see the green light is off and if i go upward just a half step then i'm in neutral but if i was to go full step up then i'm out of neutral so if, but if i go just a half step down i'm also back in neutral so it's gonna be a little interesting a uh, lot of practice but let me know what you guys think in the comment down below uh i'm excited to have this thing uh, i'm excited to build it um we're definitely gonna be doing a full build series on it these things come with about eight horsepower or so from the factory my goal is to double it before i give it away to one of you lucky subscribers so going going back to the giveaway let me give you guys just all the details exactly how you can enter for a chance to win this honda grom guys so the way that you enter guys is by going down and clicking on the link in the description below to my merch store and for every 20 dollars that you spend on the website you will be automatically entered for a chance to win this grom the giveaway is going to be going live for three months so we're in august at the end of october the giveaway will end october 31st so i'm super excited i can't wait to see what we do with this thing and hopefully you guys uh, support the channel and buy some shirts again every 20 dollars is going to be one entry to win this honda grom and of course in the next three months we're going to be completely transforming this thing into something so much crazier than the way it looks now so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe now because you won't want to miss what we do with this thing and also what we do with everything else again we still have the truck here which we're going to be doing build series on and don't think i haven't forgotten about the camaro because the camaro has also got a lot of stuff going on so make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe but going back to the grom guys let's go ahead and start this thing up so we've got the key we put it on it's in neutral we've got the kill switch turn it on and we've just got the button right here and there you go looks like we got the high beams on man this thing is super quiet right now guys it's got this huge stock exhaust um we're definitely gonna be getting rid of that but um yeah pretty pretty cool it's a neutral so yeah yeah it's definitely very quiet very tame so definitely getting new exhaust we're gonna be probably doing you know intake and who knows maybe even doing a cam or cam swap something out i'm really not too familiar exactly with what um kind of options you can do to the grom itself so i'm going to be doing a lot of research here in the future to find out what kind of things and modifications we can do the one thing that i do know that you can do for sure is actually get rid of this ugly looking piece here um so that is something that's going to be happening asap we want to get rid of this splash guard thing that just doesn't look at home there it look, makes the grom look a little weird to be honest 
Um, I didn't see that there's a few cosmetic stuff that we can do, but overall, I mean, the more most of the ideas is going to be to try to get this thing to be running twice as powerful as it was before. And we're definitely going to be doing all of the drag you runs we'll do i believe this thing tops out at like 55 or 60 miles an hour so we probably can't do zero to 60s but we can do a new measurement uh, maybe do zero to 40 or zero to 50 and use that as a baseline so keep an eye out for all the latest videos guys i would love to do like a quarter mile draggy thing time and all that and it's probably gonna be hilariously slow but it should be fun i'm really excited about just how much fun i can have i'm gonna be able to have with this thing and hopefully one of you guys will be able to have just as much fun with it um whenever you one of you guys wins it so now it's kind of warmed up now so and you can see it's got a 8000 red line right now I believe this thing um, red lines at about 9,000 um, but the display shows red starting at right over 8,200 so um, I'm excited to see how how these things perform uh, I haven't been on a bike in a long time so I'm basically gonna relearn again and what better bike to learn how to ride in than a Honda Grom guys it's a small engine and basically a little smaller bike the biggest thing that I see that i love about this bike is that when you get on the bike you can still reach the feet there's bigger bikes uh 250s 600s where when you get on you basically are tiptoeing or tiptoeing when you're riding the bike so you're tiptoeing and you're basically when you stop at a light or a stop sign it's hard for you to kind of maintain but with the honda grom i mean i easily have my feet planted down um you know, i can lean it over a little bit and it's not a heavy bike so it's going to be very easy to ride to learn how to ride in even if you've never ridden a motorcycle before the honda grom is probably the best bike to learn how to ride in and have a lot of fun in so i'm excited if you would love to learn how to ride a bike or if you want a free grom make sure you go down and cop some shirts guys uh it's really going to help out the channel hopefully we can bring in and that was the first grom mistake there i popped it out into second and obviously the bike died so let's bring it i went all the way too far into first so you got to go a little half step uh, too far there we go so we're in neutral and we can turn it back on <laughs> definitely going to be a little learning curve guys but I hope you guys are excited as much as I am and I can't wait to see what these next three months brings us guys. We've got a lot of stuff planned and I am very excited about everything that's coming to the channel. I hope you guys are as well. But with that being said guys, I will catch you guys in the next video.